Hello, I'm Dimyake Wakalielie. And I'm Vincent Makori. Well, we begin with sad news today from the continent. Wangari Muta Mathai, the first African woman and Kenyan to win the Nobel Peace Prize, has died in Nairobi after a long struggle with cancer. She was 71 years old. A tireless advocate for human rights, social justice, and better management of natural resources, Mathai founded the Green Belt Movement in 1977 to help poor women in rural communities meet their basic needs for firewood, food, and clean drinking water through a tree planting program. She was born in a small village in the central highlands of Kenya in 1940, during an era when most Kenyan girls did not receive an education. But at the insistence of her older brother, she attended a primary school, taught mostly by Catholic Nance. Mathai attended college in the United States where she received both a bachelor's and a master's degree. In 1971, she returned to Kenya and became the first woman in East and Central Africa to receive a doctorate. Mathai also was the first woman to be appointed a professor at the University of Nairobi. Wangari Muta Mathai, dead at the age of 71. For some further reflection on Professor Wangari Mathai, we are joined on the phone from Oslo, Norway, by Philo Ikonya. She is a Kenyan human rights activist and author. Ms. Ikonya, welcome to In Focus. Thank you. Now, uh, in a few words, uh, what has Kenya lost in the death of Professor Wangari Mathai? Kenya has lost uh, an, an awful lot of energy in the death of uh, Professor Wangari Mathai because. If we say that uh, trees are the lungs of the of the world and that we all need oxygen, then we could say that Wangari Matai appeared to be the best doctor that there was for the environment. At the same time, the whole world and people who knew her know that she's a very warm and simple human being, very convinced about justice and would not budge for anybody who wanted to push Kenyans around. So she saved a lot of Kenyans from harassment from especially President Moy's government. And I know also that she's, she was a strong uh, symbol for unity across ethnic groups. Kenya now, is going through a horrible time right now with regard to ethnicity. Now, wh what is it uh, that uh, many in the world may not have known about uh, Wangari Mathai that you may want to highlight here that you knew? I think yeah, I think it was her beautiful humility in terms of knowing that humility is truth. I've seen Wangari just walk into a room and sit anywhere next to anybody with her little basket and continue smiling like, you know, like uh, the way she wore her headgear with, with uh, this beautiful look on her face and shine. She never demanded extraordinary attention even when she knew that she was really in the focus of the whole world. So oh. she was a big lesson in humility, Thank I you. would say. Such yeah. a big loss for the nation and for the world. Thanks a lot. Tremendous uh, loss. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Philo. Philo Ikonya, a Kenyan human rights activist, joined us via phone from Oslo, Norway.